Hello everyone. Let's start with chapter three, pair of linear equations in two variables. Let us go quickly through the outline. So we will begin with uh, introducing the problem, uh, a real life situation where we could possibly encounter these kinds of equations and how will these equations be able um, to answer those questions that we have. We'll then go formally into uh, the pair of linear equations, how to represent it, how to write it into variables. Then we start to look into different uh, methods we can use to solve them. So we'll begin with uh, graphical methods for solution. After this, we dive uh, into three different algebraic methods for solving it, namely substitution method, elimination method, and cross multiplication method. We'll go through all of them step by step through many different examples, so it will be very clear. And then after this, we will have a look at the equations, which during the start uh, do not necessarily um, are there in the form of linear equations, but then they can be reduced to form of linear equations. And then after this, we summarize uh, what we learned, and then we solve some exercise problems. So let's get started. Let's say you went uh, back to your village with your family and then on a nice uh, afternoon you went out to a fair with your dad, your younger sister, your elder sister and you. And in the fair you have these big giant wheel, giant rides where when you go to the top you can see your entire village. And then also you have this game called uh, Hoopla where you throw the ring and then if it goes into the uh, right things then you get some prize for it. And then there are also many other things but then uh, now you enjoy the whole day, you go back and then you start to uh, talk among yourselves what did you do in the all day and then your mom asked uh, your elder sister uh, how many uh, rides did you have the giant wheel rides and how many hoopla games did you play then your sister says um, after so many rides I forgot exactly how many number of rides did I have and how many games did I play but the thing that I remember is uh, the number of times I played the hoopla game was half the number of times I played the rides so she enjoyed the rides more than the than playing hoopla so this was the first information given by her then your dad said that okay i give you a total of 20 rupees each ride cost uh, three rupees and each game of hoopla cost four rupees and you spend all of the 20 rupees so with all of these information we should be able to figure out how many giant wheel rides did you have and how many hoopla games did you play so then you say okay let me first just write everything what information do you have and what question do we need to answer okay so the question that we need to answer is we need to find out the number of rights she had and how many times she played hoopla so these are the two things that we need to answer and the information that we have is the number of times she played hoopla is half the number of rides she had on the giant wheel and each ride cost rupees three each game of hoopla cost rupees four and the total money she spent was rupees 20. so what do we do now maybe you just start thinking randomly some random numbers like if uh, she played maybe three giant wheels uh, um, is it possible to play three then yeah three into three nine and one hoopla but nine four thirteen it doesn't make uh, this so you can continue going on with this making some random guess and everything but then you say no let me use uh, some of the things that i've learned earlier let me let me go into variables so what are the things that we need to represent the first thing is the number of rights so what are the unknowns the first thing is the number of rights 
C had. How many number of rights C had? We don't want to know it. So let's say we name this variable as x. So um, they think that we do not know, we give it some name variable. The other thing that we need to find out is how many times C played hoopla, uh, the game hoopla. So this variable, we call it as y. Okay, we are going somewhere. So the number of uh, times he played Hoopla is Y. The number of rides he had is X. So we just need to find out the correct value for X and Y, which will satisfy all these information that we have. Now let us begin by writing these equations. What we have here in words, we try to write them down in the terms of equation. So what is the number of, so number of times he played Hoopla? Number of times he played Hoopla, that is, y so we have y and y will be equal to half the number of times c played uh, c went on the giant wheel ride so y will be equal to 1 by 2 times x okay so we just got our first equation let me write it here y is equal to 1 by 2 x or you can write it as x minus 2 y is equal to zero so this is our first equation now let us use the other information so each right costs rupees three so if one right costs rupees three and uh, if c had x number of rights then the total cost for rights will be three times x number of rights he had multiplied by cost for one ride okay now we have each game of hoopla cost rupees 4 so one game of hoopla cost rupees 4 and then c played hoopla y number of times so the total cost for hoopla would be 4 y the cost for one hoopla game multiplied by the number of hoopla games he played so this is the amount spent on the total amount spent on the rights and this is the total amount spent on the hoopla game and this is the total uh, amount spent adding both of them so the number so the amount spent in the rights is 3x plus amount spent in the game of hoopla 4y so this should be equal to 20 and that's it this is our second equation let me just write it 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 so this is our equation number 2 so that's it so now we have two linear equations we have two variables and now we just need to find out a way to solve uh, these linear equations for to, in order to find out the value of x and y so now the problem is set up and then we will have a look in the next uh, videos how we proceed in solving it thank you